so perfect. Hello, welcome to the Craft Stash Live broadcast. I'm Jeanette Lane, your crafty host. Happy Friday. So glad to be back. Uh, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, if you're having a brew, maybe you have lots of rain where you are. Hopefully not. We've got a great show for you today. We are talking about the latest paper discovery collection, which is called the Timeless Collection by Olga Direktorenko. And we have exclusive uh, demonstrations from Olga, and she should also be watching alongside uh, online it, from the Ukraine. So from Ukraine. So say hello to Olga if you have any questions for her. Post those and let me make sure everything is good here. Say hello to some people. Turn down my volume. <laughs> we have uh, Julie Olivia's Crafts and War watching. Deborah Thurtell. Hello, hello. Hope everyone is um, enjoying the Christmas season, the start of the Christmas season. Maybe you have your Christmas tree up. Maybe you don't. <laughs> um, let's say hello to some people on Facebook. Yay, we are good on both, both platforms. Uh, and Shauna is helping us behind the scenes. Say hi, Shauna. Hello. <laughs> so cute, you're the cutest thing. Okay, so we have Doris watching from Yorkshire. Shauna, you posted a comment saying hello. <laughs> That's all the comments I'm seeing right now. All right. Oh, and from Jocelyn Boy, who is watching from Denmark. Hello. Okay. Um, maybe the comments are lagging. That's all right. You keep those comments coming, and I will try to read some more of those throughout. So we have um, some new and exciting things from Olga, not just with her Timeless collection, but also coming up in the new year. Lots of great things coming Olga's way and also your way. Uh, you can expect to see Olga in the UK at the end of January or so. So sometime in January, Olga is going to be here with us at the studio. So we're really excited about that. Um, and we have an amazing offer going on for Olga's uh, first box kit. So magazine and box kit. So there are, uh, there's an ideas magazine included in here, a die set, a stamp set, an embossing folder. Let's take a peek inside. So this is an incredible deal. Where's my scissors? Let me find my scissors because you have to see this jam-packed kit. And you've probably seen other ones uh, on the Craft Stash website, but right now uh, this one is half off, so it's usually $12.99, and right now it is $6.49. $6.49? Yes, it is $6.49. So an incredible deal. Let me show you what's inside. Open it up, show you real quick. Maybe we'll do this on the top down. Shut up. So inside of the box kit, you get a die set. So a little die to build that little house. You get an embossing folder and you also get an A6 size stamp set. You also get papers and toppers. These are beautiful and they're in that like signature light blue color that Olga loves. You get some beautiful Christmassy patterns. You guys, all this, half off, usually $12.99, but right now you can get it for $6.49 at Craft Stash. So you get all that, and then you get an Ideas Magazine, which shows you uh, different projects, different ways for you to use the dies, the embossing folder, and the stamp set included to create some beautiful cards, not just for Christmas, but for beyond, so for all occasions. An incredible deal. Olga's first uh, magazine box kit. Super exciting. Congratulations, Olga. I wonder if more of the comments are showing through now. Yay! So we have Elizabeth Kimber, Linda, hello, Linda Sophie from Norway, Linda Cook, Wendy Derrick, Susan Rawlings. Yay, yay, yay. And we also have Handmade by Emma. Uh, Sam Clayton of Mixed Up Crafts is watching. And we have uh, Charlie P, Gail Leola, uh, and Gail 
Flo, Flo Rita? <laughs> Flo Rita from California. Good morning. We have some beautiful inspiration uh, for the Timeless Collection made by uh, Sam Clayton of Mixed Up Crafts, but also Linda Parker, and you guys are in for a treat. It's absolutely stunning. So besides, sorry, let me get my caddy up. Did you guys see this caddy? It's on the craft stash. It's the craft stash caddy. It's really cool, guys. Highly recommend that. Been loving it and using it since I got one. All right, so besides the amazing offer half off on the magazine kit, uh, I wanted to talk about Olga's uh, paper discovery collection. If you've been here from the start, you've seen all of her previous releases and it all started with the card builder die set. So maybe you remember this one, if we can get to the top down, Shauna, thank you so much. So it all started off with the card builder die set and then her card builder panel set. And there was also the window uh, die sets as well. So they allowed you to create a beautiful and sophisticated card fronts, gorgeous. And then we also have that beautiful window scene. And uh, right now there's an amazing offer going on as well. Man, so many offers. <laughs> if you spend over uh, 25 pounds, on the new Timeless Collection, you can save 15% off on all of her, um, all of Olga's paper discovery range with the code PD15. So I'm loving this. This is this is where paper discovery all started with the card builder uh, set collection, and you could create contemporary and sophisticated, beautiful designs. And then from there, we created beautiful. Olga helped us to create beautiful scenescapes. Oriental scenescapes. Maybe you remember the Oriental collection. So we had um, those really large uh, nested circles. The room divider set. I know some of you have the room divider set because you've shared your projects on the Craft Stash chat group. So that was a favorite. And then we also had the uh, stamps and the dies, all very um, just like Oriental oriental inspired beautiful collection and you remember these i think olga was here she showed us this one that she made and she demonstrated this one when she was last in the uk with the beautiful stamp set and then that beautiful silhouette that you can create with the oriental collection and then she also helped us olga helped us get ready for christmas and i think um, my favorite collection is definitely the Christmas one thus far. So we have the um, Elegant Room die set, and then we had some stamp sets as well, and then the Diorama Ornament uh, die set. And you could create beautiful dioramas, beautiful boxes, a little like snow, snow globe. Look how cute that is adorable and this one as well from sam clayton so cute so you can create little snow globe scenes little dioramas with her uh, christmas collection the elegant room christmas collection you might remember these as well so that's the elegant room die set stunning <coughs> excuse me and then there was also this one the room the room and uh, sorry the door the door embossing folder which was really cool to create some really unique uh, cards inspired by Olga's love for interior uh, decorating and design. Beautiful. And then we have, of course, a little stamp sets as well. She had some stamps, gorgeous stamps included in the Christmas collection. And look at that. That is so fun. I am loving that. Shauna, I see you moving a lot. Is everything all right? A few people say we haven't found. That's strange. Hmm, yeah, I work it on this side. All right. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. Sometimes if you're watching from your phone uh, on like, you know, not on Wi-Fi, so turn it on Wi-Fi. Make sure you're watching on Wi-Fi. All right. So then, since Olga helped us to prepare for Christmas, the Timeless Collection helps us is just in time for uh, the new year. So we are so excited to have this gorgeous 
uh, dies, food there's dies, stamps, and embossing folders. And these coordinate with Olga's previous collections, so that's super helpful. Thank you, Olga, for that. This one is the uh, Time on Your Hands die and stamp set. Now, I don't want to get too much into these because Olga, in her uh, demonstration video, her exclusive demo video that she's done for us, is going to show us how these dies work. And this one. So I wanted to show, these are definitely my favorite. The Time on Your Hands die and stamp set and the Timeless Room. And we have some gorgeous inspiration from Linda Parker and Sam Clayton from Mixed Up Crafts. Ooh, let me show this one, Shauna. And I made this one. So this is with the Timeless, no, sorry, Timeless Collection, Time on Your Hands stamp and die set. So it creates uh, just a beautiful like clock element for your card fronts, but also if you pair it with the diorama set from her Christmas collection, you can see there I used that, that circle part in the center and created just like a free standing clock. Did a, a little bit of a gilding on that. It was super fun to put together. All right, hopefully you are loving the collection. Let's see what you're saying. John Robertson says that she loves the new sets. Deborah Thurtell says that's gorgeous. Sue Lloyd, stunning. Um, Handmade by Emma says that she had them in her basket and they just went out of stock before I clicked order. I don't know. That's weird. Refresh your basket. <laughs> Refresh it. Lisa Turner says that she's loving the new products. So we are really excited for Olga's Timeless Collection, but also we have an amazing giveaway. So over 215 pounds worth of prizes to give away today. There are three uh, prize bundles and each bundle is the complete Timeless Collection. So three lucky people are going to win the complete Timeless Collection. All you have to do is just leave a comment uh, and we will announce the winners. Any comment will do. Enter as many times as you'd like. We will announce the winners at the end of the broadcast. So, I think we are ready for Olga's first demonstration. Before I do that, just want to remind everybody about the special offer. If you spend over 25 pounds on Olga's New Times collection, that you can save 15% on her previous collections with the code PD15. All right, ready for Olga's demo. Hi friends, I'm so happy to present Paper Discovery's new Timeless collection. This release includes six products and the first large die set is called Timeless Room and it includes 14 dies to build up an interior scene with. The next one is a die and stamp set called Time is on your hands and it's meant to create a really large tabletop clock as well as the pocket watch. Another die set is called Timeless Panels and those panels coordinate beautifully with the room as well as with the clock. There are also two embossing folders in this release. One of them creates an A5 size room with the floor and Baroque style panels. And another one makes beautiful background and it also coordinates with the clock die set. There is also a large stamp set that works beautifully with all the dies. Let's have a closer look at to the Timeless Room die set that I'm going to use to make a card. It has a lot of elements like a very big fireplace, an armchair, a potted plant, a floor lamp and a bunch of smaller accessories. Working with this die set is really easy. You can just play around with the dies, building up different room scenes, and uh, you can kind of see how they are going to look on the finished project. So that was the fireplace scene, and now we can change up the dies and build a kind of uh, reading nook. Speaking about compatibility of this die set, it of course works totally with the, the Timeless Room die set from the previous release. All the images are the same scale, so you can mix and match them 
and create even more room variations. I just love how the sleeping dog looks in front of the new fireplace. The old table works beautifully with the new telephone and so does the new table. Basically, any image works with any other one. And of course, the window die set works beautifully with both rooms. Now let's get started with a card. I have created a 5x7 card base out of Black Mirror cardstock. This beautiful product is by Tonic Studios. I'm going to place one of the timeless panels onto the card front. I'm making sure that I have the same uh, size border at the top and at the bottom and on the um, right side. And then I'm taping down the die. I'm opening up the card base and then I'm going to send it through the die cutting machine. I didn't use the matching uh, outline die, so this pattern cuts right into the panel. Now I am removing uh, the negative small die cuts and then uh, I'm going to back up this uh, pattern with the cream cardstock. I used the matching outline die to die cut this plain panel. Then I'm going to apply some liquid glue at the wrong side of the pattern and then I'm going to stick down that cream strip of cardstock on the wrong side of my card. I really try to apply as little adhesive as possible because I have a shiny card front and uh, any traces of glue are going to be visible on it. So that makes uh, the background of my card. Now I only have to apply some of the furniture elements onto the card front. So I have uh, decided to use the armchair and the potted plant and also the small square pillow. I've die cut uh, the entire plant out of green cardstock and uh, there is also a matching pot die that I've die cut out of cream cardstock, the same one that I used to back up the panel. I'm sticking that pot on top of the plant and uh, this element is ready to go on a card. The armchair is a bit trickier. It has two dies. I've die cut uh, just the outline out of cream. Then I used both dies to create this frame. And finally, I used just an insert to die cut all those elements out of green paper. The same one I used for the plant. To assemble uh, the armchair, I'm going to apply some glue at the wrong side of the golden frame and I'm sticking it down onto the background. You can use the armchair even as it is, but I'm also going to add the green upholstery. I'm placing this die cut, which is the back of the armchair, into the die and I'm going to stencil through the openings. I'm applying uh, Ground Espresso Distress Ink with a sponge applicator. You can also use the same die to emboss this pattern instead of stenciling. Next, I'm going to add each of the upholstery pieces uh, into the golden frame. They come together very easily, just like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm just applying uh, liquid glue onto each uh, section and then I'm sticking down uh, the green die cut. The smallest pieces are hard to manipulate with uh, just your hands, so I'm using a pickup pencil. It's a very handy and a very inexpensive pickup tool available at Craft Stash. To create a square pillow, I've die cut the image twice out of cream cardstock and out of gold. And now I'm going to layer the cream die cut on top of the golden one. 
as you see, I didn't pop out the tiny negative die cuts from the golden uh, piece. Instead, I'm going to apply some double-sided tape at the wrong side. It's going to keep all those pieces on their place. And uh, I'm also going to use the same tape to stick down the pillow later on. So now I'm ready to add all the elements. I'm applying some uh, tape onto the plant and I'm going to stick it down right onto the card front and I'm going to align uh, the bottom uh, of the pot with the bottom of the decorative panel here. Next comes the chair. I have decided to use the double-sided foam tape to attach it. This is going to add a little bit of uh, that beautiful dimension. Then I'm going to stick down the square pillow onto the armchair. At this point, the scene looks almost complete, but there is still something missing in it. And of course, the thing that is missing is a cat. This cat image is from a Tag Window Editions die set from the previous release. I've die cut it out of um, black shiny cardstock, the same one that I used for the background. And now I'm attaching it onto the armchair with the foam squares. In order to make this card work for the new year, I'm going to add 2020 for my sentiment. The number die set I'm using is also by Paper Discovery. If you want to know how to create a sticker sheet with this die set, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. This is what the finished project looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned because I'm going to be back with another card making video. Thank you so much, Olga, for that beautiful demonstration. And just to recap what she's used, so she's used the timeless panels, which also coordinate with the room divider set from the Oriental collection. So that's the one that she used. And also the timeless uh, room die set, which I think is amazing. So that's the one that she used. And also the alphabet strips from her previous collection, which I also love 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 those and i have some inspiration to share from the design team so from linda parker and also sam clayton of mixed up crafts so let me show you what they've done with the beautiful timeless collection sorry just got shift gotta reorganize we have one more demo coming your way which i'm going to show you um how i made this clock so stay tuned for that and don't forget the giveaway enter just leave a comment that's all you got to do to enter to win one of the three prize bundles that's up for grabs the complete timeless collection so you're going to get three winners are going to get the complete time timeless collection bundle so excited for you all right so first up we have this beautiful little like pocket watch designed by sam clayton so she used the um the timeless, no, sorry, the time on time on my hands. I forget what it's called. Sorry, guys. Moving it all over the place. Time on your hands stamp and die set. So I love how it comes with this little like chain die. That's really fun. I use that in my clock as well. Beautiful. And then we have a diorama that Sam has made. And this one is with the, this is with the Christmas one. Sorry guys, that one is from uh, Olga's Elegant Room collection. But you can see this also works with the Timeless Room. Sorry, that one just snuck in there. <laughs> Gorgeous card from Linda Parker using the A5 size Time on Your Hands embossing folder and the Time on Your Hands stamp and die set. So that's very nice because it's a card for all occasions doesn't just have to be for the new year. This one is also from Linda. She used the Timeless Room die set 
which has 14 dies to create your cozy Christmas scenes, your cozy rooms, and you could decorate your room in any style. So she's chosen to do like a Christmas, Christmas kind of theme. So elegant, so nice. Thank you so much for that, Linda. This one is also from Linda and she's used the Time On Your Hands stamp, stamps and the dies. So these little, what are these called, Shauna? Cogs? Cogs. Cogs and gears to make this beautiful uh, modern, kind of just like a simple quick card. I love that. Gorgeous, I love these little time hands. They're so delicate, so nice, so fancy. Also, I wanted to mention that the offer uh, on the spend over 25 pounds, that's not on the Timeless Collection. I do apologize. So if you spend over 25 pounds on any paper discover, you can save 15% on all her range. Uh, so you can save 15% with the code PD15. So that discount is not just on the new Timeless Collection, it's on Olga's previous collections as well. So this card is from Linda Parker. She used the Timeless Room die set and the Timeless panels. You can see the panels in the background that Olga used in her demo. And it also, again, coordinates with the Room Divider die set, which is absolutely stunning, which you've probably seen previously as well. Thank you so much for that gorgeous card. Here's another one from Linda. This one is massive. So this is an eight by eight card. And I really love what she's done with the Timeless Room die set. So she has added this, this like really cute detail. So we see she's added a little doily to her uh, side table there. She's added a little bit of a lacy trim to her pillow. And I love that because you can add just all these, you know, just these little details that will make your card just really unique and really um, lovely, very cozy, very homey. I like that. Oh, also she's used the uh, mirror card. Like she's used mirror card on the actual mirror above the fireplace, <laughs> which I think is very clever. Beautiful card. I hope these are inspiring you. They inspire me. They make me want to go home and start crafting. This is uh, also from Linda Parker, and she's used the Timeless Room A5 size embossing folder and the Timeless Room die set. So you can see the embossing there, just very, uh, right there in the white. And she's created her cozy little scene. Love that. Here's one, another one. Linda Parker, Linda, you have been very busy. <laughs> Thank you for all these cards. So this is using the Time On Your Hands stamp and die set. And that again includes 13 dies and 18 stamps. And it creates that cute little pocket watch, but also that larger clock piece with that chain. That chain is so cool. And we have another one also from Linda with the Time On Your Hands die and stamp set. So again, that amazing chain, great for the upcoming new year. I don't know if anybody makes um, New Year's cards. I did one year when I didn't have time to do Christmas cards. I just sent Happy New Year cards. <laughs> this is uh, from Sam Clayton. So this is using the Timeless Room die set. She's created like a really fun diorama there very modern uh this is like a more modern kind of colorful contemporary room and i love that because you can customize these dies any way that you like in any style that you would like it looks so cozy comfy cozy and she's used the room um the little room sorry the book die set from the elegant room uh die set from olga's christmas release so make sure, I hope that you will take advantage of that offer when you spend over 25 pounds on any paper discovery, you can save 15% uh, with the code PD15, PD15. Stunning. One more, one more, and then we'll get to my demo. So this is using, this is from Linda. She used the full um, clock time piece here. And she's done, you can't really see it. Sorry, Sean, I gotta go on the top down. <laughs> so it, it goes flat 
And she did kind of like a little pop up. So you can use the die set as just an element, you know, just a standalone element, focal element for your cards. But also you can do a little pop up if you just add a strip of cardstock back there. Very clever and she's used all the stamps as well from the Time on Your Hand stamp and die set. I hope that that inspired you. Such gorgeous, gorgeous collections. Gorgeous uh, dies, sorry, and stamps and box of holders. Let's see what everybody is saying. Also, Olga is here, and I'm not seeing her. For some reason, I can't see all the comments sometimes. Like, they just don't all load. So, hello, Olga. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Kathleen Mowbray says, must have the time on your hands, Dyson. So versatile. Wendy Derrick says that she loves it all, but especially the timeless panels. They're nice, guys. They're really nice. Great for like building your backgrounds as well. Elaine Bagnall says that she that clock card is great. Sue Lloyd loves the clock. <laughs> Crafty Alley Create says lots of lovely inspiration. Yes, so, so much. Beautiful inspiration. Thank you again to Linda Parker and Sam Clayton for those beautiful cards that you made. I need to reset and clear the table so that I can show you how I made that clock piece. Standalone clock piece. Don't forget to get your magazine kit, paper discovery magazine kit. $6.49. Was $12.99, but right now it's half off for $6.49, I believe. I hope I'm saying that right. Check the Craft Stash website for the prices. All right. So this is an A4 size die. So you will need a bigger die cutting machine. So your A4 size die cutting machine. I'm gonna be using the Sizzix Big Shot Plus. However, I think. So it does fit through your um, standard, this one. Sorry, Sean, let's switch over. So the time on your hands does fit through your standard die cutting machines. However, you will need the extended cutting plates if you want to make it work. Otherwise, just head, just use your Big Shot Plus or your Gemini or A4 size die cutting machines. So there's my die. I need to move all this beautiful inspiration out of the way. Where do I put it where it's safe? Safe and sound. All right, so to create my clock, I used black cardstock and gilding wax. And for my gilding wax, I used Cosmic Shimmer. This color is Copper Shine. Love it. I used the spongy applicator for the most part. <coughs> and I used the Diorama Elegant Ornament Die Set. So this is from Olga's uh, Christmas collection which came out a few weeks ago. So I used those two together. So I've already cut out one of the panels from black. And now it's time to die cut the other one. So here is my die set. And I have my A4 size piece of cardstock. I'm using black. I like to use black, especially with like gilding polish because it'll come through if you don't do like a very, if you do like a more, uh, less opaque kind of effect. Like if you just use a brush or if you use your finger and don't saturate your paper in the gilding polish, the black will show through. And I think it gives it kind of like a grungy artistic effect. And I have all my dyes here in a, <laughs> just so I can see them and I'm not crinkling a bunch of plastic in your ears trying to get those out. All right, time to die cut our panel. So I'm just running that through and we're going to trim off the mm. bottom part of our dime. Now if 
you. There it is. So there's our die. Now it has this piece here, this overhang. Now if you cut two of them at the same time, you can uh, glue them together like that and create like a standing little, um, little clock. What we're gonna do is we're going to trim this off and reinforce our base, our clock base. So it's gonna look just like that. We'll add some glue. My glue is in my caddy. I love this caddy, it's amazing. It fits so many things. Helps me feel real organized. Sorry, I'm just um, gonna use Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. I'm gonna put some glue along the bottom. Let me enforce our clock. There it is, oops. So we have our two pieces there. Now we're going to grab the, is it the large one that I used? Nope, it's the little one. So the smaller nested uh, circle die that's included in the time on your hands die set. And we're going to flip these over like that because that's what it's going to be like when it's standing with the diorama. I'm just going to line these up. Put that die there. Let me secure it with some washi so it's not moving all over the place. And we're going to die cut that at the same time. So we have our circle in the exact same place on both of these layers. Let us know what you've been up to crafting wise. Have you been busy making Christmas cards? Are you already doing some spring crafting? Cause maybe you're tired of Christmas. What have you been up to? And don't forget like any comment that you post will, uh, you will make you eligible to enter to win uh, one of the three prize bundles that we have up for grabs. So there we have our timepiece. And now we just need our ornament, sorry, our ornament diorama die, which let me find it somewhere around here. Put it underneath. There it is. So this one, that's the ornament uh, die, die set. So that's gonna go in between and hold our piece together like so. So you can find out how to assemble that. So this is the die I used for that. That's gonna hold our piece together. It gives us um, these little hills here, which I'm gonna use for the inside of my diorama timepiece. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take these out. Close your ears for just a second. So I just need one of these hilly pieces. So I'm gonna use that one. And again, this is with the Diorama Elegant like Ornament die set. So I'm gonna cut one of those. From black cardstock. Us that little hill shape and you're gonna see why I need that little hill shape in just a bit so we have our, ooh, our diorama and we're gonna line it up and glue that down like that this one is not made from black cardstock so let me just glue this down We'll add a little bit of glue here. Put that there. And if 
you can see that torn edge there, that is because we had a little prototype built and I just needed this piece here. So I just was trying to save time guys. So I didn't have to assemble the whole thing because I always feel really rushed on these demos. Your diorama will be very nice and neat. But just for the sake of time, I used the prototype that we had. All right, so we're gonna let that set and dry. And then once that's done, it will stand on its own. Oh, but it's not standing. There it goes, yay. There it is, there it is. Okay, so now we can add our little hill. Now, if you cut these from white with the ornament, so you cut these from white, from the diorama ornament die set, then you would have like little snowy hills to create like a snow globe. But this set works really well with the timeless collection. So that's gonna be glued there. And then we're gonna glue all of our cogs to that. So we'll set that aside for now. Let's add some gilding, some guild wax to this timepiece to show you how easy it is. So we're just going to open up, what color was this again? Copper shine. You can do this with your finger if you want, but it comes with a little sponge, sponge applicator. And you just go over it. And as you go over the different pieces, you will see the embossing in the die set. And you can get very opaque if you want, or if you want it be black to peek through, you can. I like leaving it a little bit streaky. It's coming to life. I love it. It's kind of like painting. If you want to do this before you glue your diorama together, you can. I thought it was just more fun this way because it feels like I'm painting a proper clock. So there's one side and you flip it over and do the back side. Maybe we should, we're going to skip on the back side because I want to make sure I get to the rest of the demo. All right. Oh, this goes here. So let's die cut the chain and the cogs from the time on your hands die set because I used, I want to gild those as well. So there is the chain and I'm just going to use just a little bit, kind of place it on my cardstock there. Always use your scraps if possible. <clears throat> We're gonna add some gilding wax to the chain as well. I forgot my flower shaping tool, which I kinda needed for this part, but that's all right. So there is the chain. Look how cool it is, it's so delicate. I'm just gonna use a pencil, because sorry, pen, because I don't have my flower shaping tool. And I'm going to curl this just a little bit, give it just make it more pliable, really. Because I'm gonna end up like doing a little corkscrew with it and adding that into our diorama. So it just needs to be a little flexible, a little bit more flexible, we'll set that aside. And then we are going to die cut our cogs from black cardstock from uh, mirror, mirror card, foil card. So black cardstock, Mirror foil, foil card, a little gray. So let's start off with the cogs. So here are all the cogs you get. And if you remember Anne's, sorry, Linda's card that she made, she just used the cogs on their own. 
It was so nice on the card front. I do like cogs. Gears. Gears. Are they called gears here? No. I don't know what they're called in. Oh, well, maybe they're not called gears. Cogs. I like that word. That's a fun word. Okay, so we'll die cut our cogs from the mirror card. If you see any questions in the comments, Shauna. No? All right. So you're going to want to cut a ton of gears. I want to say I cut maybe 20 of them just to have them on hand. So there they are. Cute little gears. So cute. All right. Use my pokey tool. Now if they're too uh, silvery, too polished, maybe you're going for a more grungy kind of effect. So there it is, very nice and polished. What you can do to kind of um, age them a little bit is use a sand block and just kind of go over it. So it'll take some of the mirror coating off and just kind of give you a more aged kind of look. All right. Hmm, for this next part, maybe I will do the close up, Shauna, because it's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about or trying to do on the other camera. So let's give it a try. <laughs> this may be the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. So here I have two little cogs. Uh, this one I've cut from black and just added some gilding polish to it. So to make my dimensional cog gears, what I did is I used a foam, just a foam pad, foam tape. This is the Craft Stash brand foam tape, which I love because the release paper comes off so easily. So that goes like that. This will go on the larger cog and then we'll put our smaller cog on top. So it will look like this. So there's a foam pad in between. Then I grabbed my pokey tool. I went through the center there, holding that there. And then And then I have these brads. So you can use any brads that you might have. These work really well. These are from Tim Holtz. There should still be some on the site. So then you put your brad through. Open up the feet on the back to secure it. And then you get your little dimensional kind of cog. And you can add another foam tape when you're mounting this to your uh, timepiece, your little time clock on the front, which we will do. So I'm just gonna add some foam tape back here. Another little foam square. And we'll add that just there. Right. So I should have some more cogs. So again, you just add the foam square. You add the smaller cog on top, kind of layer those up. Pierce it with your pokey tool and add your bread. And I thought these Tim Holtz brads were so appropriate because they have numbers on them. So you could do like a count down with your timepiece. And then you just add those throughout now to create my inner diorama here with the cogs inside, what I did was I cut that piece right from the diorama ornament die set and then I just glued them onto that before adding it inside of the diorama. I hope that makes sense. So 
So then just add that, added that there. Nice, so easy. And then you can add a little bit of glue there and add your other cogs. Now you're gonna need some strong glue for this and I do recommend using Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. Love that stuff. And then you build your gravity defying cogs. You're just gluing them to the back there. Oops. Cog down. I have some more in here somewhere. So that's what that's looking like. We have one more here that we can add and you can kind of keep building your way. Let me add one more here. So I'm just gonna glue that there. And you can go as high as you want really. <laughs> well, within reason, otherwise it'll just get a little bit floppy. Got some fallout there on that one. So that builds your um, little tower, cog tower. Maybe add one there. Yep, yep, that's looking good. And then we can glue this whole thing carefully inside of our diorama, our little aperture. So I'm just adding some adhesive there. And then we're just gonna glue that in. Kind of hold it, give it time to set. This dries clear glue uh, works really well. So it shouldn't take very much time for it to dry. Yep, oh, it fell off right there. No, why? Just give it time. Sometimes it just needs time to dry. Give it a little time. This one needs some more adhesive here. Sorry guys, watching glue dry is not very exciting. <laughs> but it is necessary. You want your card to stick. Stick and stay. All right. And you can move your little hillside, little um, hillside element. You can push it back further if you want it more like inside of your, inside of your timepiece. Now let me show you how I made the, the little chain. So we have our little chain here. There it is. I'm just gonna add some more gilding wax to it. Gilding polish. Just adding, sponging that thing on. Sponging the wax on. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> Do you know that film, Shauna? You're too young. Karate Kid, do you know it? No. <laughs> I just feel so old right now. <laughs> and it's not even wax though, guys. It's polish. <laughs> There's gilding wax though. <laughs> all right. There is our chain. Looking all cool. Let's close this up. So all I did was I kind of wrapped it around my finger. Shaping it. To a tight little screw. Screw shape. So it'll look like that. And then I added a bit of glue to this section here. And then I glued it inside, kind of out of view, like that. Ooh, I smudged the acetate. Don't smudge the acetate when you do it. <laughs> and then we have this cool little funky element. Feels a little steampunk, kind of. I've lost my scissors because I want to trim this. 
just a bit. Does anybody see my scissors? <laughs> Shut up. No? Are they on the floor? Are they beneath me? They're not in my caddy, because I can see everything in my caddy. Nope. Under the what? The dye machine. Are they? Oh, there they are. How did you spot that, Shauna? Eagle eyes. Oh. <laughs> Equal vision. All right. So you would definitely die cut more cogs. Lots more cogs to add to your front here. Like I did on this first one. Just let that set. And then I also added, so there's what that looks like with the little chain there in the background. On the original one that I made, that I had a little bit more time to make, <laughs> um, I used a vellum to back the inside of my diorama, and I used the uh, Time to Be Happy stamp and clock, clock stamp and sentiment from the Time on Your Hands die and stamp set. So I used that to stamp my sentiment inside, and I also had a bunch more cogs to work with. And then I added sequins, but you can see it's the same, um, same kind of thing I did here, but just with a little more time. No pun intended. I wonder how many times I said time today. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you liked that. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, send them my way. Thank you to Olga for um, these beautiful designs, but also for watching along. Really appreciate that, Olga. You're amazing. You're so crafty. Mm. Ooh, Deborah Thurtell says that she would love to create Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast with this die set. That is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Elaine says, you have made my time well spent. <laughs> so funny. Love that. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, thank you so much for watching that demonstration. That was really fun. Let's see. Mary Ann Lorson, Lorson says, great inspiration and all these amazing cards here. Carol Lewis says that she keeps a few scissors on her desk. Wise, wise woman. Also, I think today is Tracy, sorry, just a side note, Tracy Martindale's birthday. Happy birthday, Tracy. And uh, Yvonne Hodge says, beautiful project. Susan Rawlings, great demo. Thank you, Anne, Marianne. Thank you, thank you. Jill Beatty, hello. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. Now, before I announce our winners, our three lucky winners. So we have um, one more thing that you've probably seen already on the Craft Stash website. And that is Olga's Paper Discovery Paper Craft Society box. Hopefully you've seen the reveal video on our, actually it was a reboxing video because we unpacked everything and then packed the box up, which was really fun. So this is from Olga Directorenko, the Paper Craft Society subscription box. It creates beautiful, magical, and enchanting dioramas. So there's a diorama die set. And there's uh, a stamp set and an embossing folder as well, which helps you to create those beautiful dioramas. You can sign up to receive this particular kit, this particular box, sorry, on by December 18th. So hurry, act quick if you wanna ensure that you get this one, uh, the Paper Discovery, Paper Craft Society box. That's a little bit hard to say. <laughs> and if you sign up by December 18th, then you will get your box at the beginning of January. So that first week in January. So it comes with all that and it also has, um, oh my, it also has uh, sequins and it comes with uh, some beautiful inks, a ribbon, ribbon, two beautiful inks. And it also has a uh, 10 pound voucher to craft stash included as well on top of all that so that you can spend 10 pounds at craft stash. So that will be included in the box so you can stock up on more paper discovery or also 
uh, if you want to get you know some adhesive, some cardstock, an amazing box, don't forget to sign up. You can sign up at craftstash.co.uk forward slash papercraft society by December 18th. And here is, let me show this one. So I made this one. This was so fun to make. Ooh, I die cutting machines on the way. So you can make a diorama scene. And this is with the dies inside of Olga's Paper uh, Craft Society box. So you can make beautiful dioramas. Watch that reveal video, that reboxing video on our YouTube channel if you want to see um, everything that you get inside of the box. Cool. I think we have our winners. Let me double check. Do, 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 do. Yes, we do. Okay. So our first winner is uh, was selected from the Facebook competition post that was posted all week long. So all you had to do was enter on that post. And we're, uh, we have our winner for that. So our winner is going to win the complete Timeless collection. So you're gonna get the time on your hands, die and stamp set, the Timeless room set, the two embossing folders, and also the stamp set. Lucky, lucky person. Let's see if I can hold it all. So this one. And oh, and also the panels. The timeless panels. How did I forget about those? Those are so cool. So this is gonna be the prizes. So our first winner, drum roll. Anna Marie and Annalsey. Annesley. Sorry, Anna Marie Annesley. Congratulations! Hooray! You can send me um an email, Jeanette at craftstash.co.uk with your mailing information or send us a private Facebook message on our Craftstash page. All right, our next winner is Gemma Spencer. <laughs> Congratulations, Gemma. Thank you so much for watching. And our third winner of the Thomas Collection Bundle is Lynn Clifton. Congratulations, hooray! Congratulations to the winners. Send us, uh, send me an email, jeanettecraftstash.co.uk with your mailing information or you can, did I just put gilding wax on my face? Probably. Or send us a private Facebook message uh, with your mailing details. And making sure that I didn't forget to say anything, I don't think so. No, I think I've said it all guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Olga for your beautiful collection and for being live with us today. See you guys next time. Bye!